we've spoken about uh, strategies as um, these discrete things, so to cooperate to the fact, to play heads or, or tails, but in general, we will represent strategies uh, in a more general way as uh, vectors. Um, so the idea is that if we have a particular strategy set S, that can be anything, right? So any set of uh, objects, so here I have uh, however many, 26 of them, um, then we represent a uh, strategy as uh, with, with sigma and we simply have that as elements uh, between 0 and 1 of size s. So, so sigma is, is essentially a vector that tells us the probability with which we play a, the probability with which we play b, the probability with which we play c, etc. Okay, so immediately we have a particular relationship, which is that the sum of sigma i for i equals 1 to the size of s must be equal to 1, because it is a probability distribution. Okay, so then at that sense we can have uh, mixed strategies. So, for example, for example, um, if our strategy set was s equals heads and tails, then we can have the specific pure strategies h as um, 1, 0, because all of the probability is going to h. But then we can also have tails as 0, 1, because all of the probability is going uh, to tails. But then likewise, we can have some mixed strategy, um, which would be 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So that would be that I play randomly heads and tails with equal probability. So um, we can use these then to calculate the utilities of a particular game. If we consider a uh, game A, B, and this is going to be how we generally denote it, uh, of real valued matrices of size M times N. So that's just a way of saying um, we have M rows and N columns in a cross product with itself, M times N. And we're just going to denote that for shorthand to be um, M times N squared. And, and all that means is that A is an element of this and B is an element of, of that, okay? So in in the particular case of uh, the matching pennies game, we have A equals uh, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, and B equals minus 1, minus 1, 1, 1. Now, if we know what both players are doing, so for example, if the row player is playing sigma R and the column player is playing sigma C, we can write down the utilities. So for example, the utility to the row player of sigma r, sigma c, is going to be equal to the sum of all the rows, of which we know there are m of them, and the sum of all the columns, of which we know there are n of them, multiplied by the value in each of those rows and columns, multiplied by the probability with which we are there. So sigma r i times sigma c j. So remember, this is saying for a given row, the probability with which we're in this row, and that's the probability um, with which we'll get one of these two utilities. And then similarly, we have this here, which is the probability with which we're in a given column. Okay, and so all we're doing is we're saying, take this value, if it's this one, um, and pick up the probability with which it happens. And so those are our utilities. Um, and then we'd have very similar results for the column players, except that the difference is that we have a, a B there.